how to detangle your hair in order to maintain thickness in your hair. You see my hair is very thick because I comb my hair in a specific way. Now your number one friend is going to be a wide tooth comb. Preferably a wide tooth seamless comb. This is a seamless rubber comb by Hercules Sagman. Okay, I'll have the link down below in the description box. Hotcombs.net where you can get this comb. No, I'm not sponsored. This is just a really good comb. Okay, so buy seamless combs. I'll make another video on that, but obviously it rips your hair out less. It's gentlest on your hair as your own fingers would be, okay? Not quite, but the gentlest you can possibly go. The white space is obviously you're going to rip less hair out of your head. Your number one friend. So in the course of one month, you wash your hair once a week. That's typical for most naturals. You might be a natural who washes their hair once every two weeks. So just, you know, arrange my tips according to your frequency of how you wash your hair. I wash my hair once a week, okay? So once a week, that's four times you're detangling your hair a month. So every single week I use the Y2 comb only. And then obviously a little bit of light finger detangling. I don't really finger detangle, just light. It's necessary to use your fingers, but you don't want to go crazy with it. I'm not trying to spend all day finger detangling my hair. Like that just takes too long for me, so I like a comb. But definitely finger detangling is very important. It helps you get rid of some of the larger knots. So definitely that goes without saying, okay? And just a white tooth comb three times a week. And once a month, you're gonna go through with your Denman style brush. I say Denman brush because the Denman brush is very popular. Everybody knows the Denman brush, okay? But I don't like the Denman brush because it has no give and it rips too much hair on the head, okay? So I don't like that. I use this brush. If you can't find this brush, you could use a small, like this size paddle brush. But small paddle brushes are still a little bit rigorous on the hair, but that's the best thing you can find if you can't find this. I have the link below to this where you can buy this. This is a wet brush by just the wet brush brand. Okay, it's really good. It's the softest brush I've used. Okay, so it's really excellent. So once a month, I go through with this. I used to do it twice a month, and that's just fine as well. But obviously, the more hair you're going to keep on your head, the less hair you're going to have. Once a month, as I said, why do this at all? Why do I need this at all? Why can't I just use that? Because if I don't use a smaller detangling tool like this little wet brush here, and I prefer the small one, not the large one, because the small one has a smaller surface area and doesn't fat, rip less hair out of your head. Because if I don't use a sm smaller detangling tool, I will get little mats and mid shaft knots and just excessive knotting like legit 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 okay so you really really want to make sure you go through with a final detangling tool at least once a month just to stave off the matting and the rippage that you would incur if you did not so that's excellent those are my tips this is really serious like you don't understand it seems very simple but obviously it's really 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 going to save your hair and thicken up your hair just naturally because you're cutting down on the mechanical damage and obviously during the week when you style your hair midweek you don't want to go back to with a comb this is the only time I ever clutch my hair with a comb or a brush or anything like that I only comb it when I'm styling it on a wash day once a week okay with a white tooth comb and then with the final detangling tool on the third time or whenever midweek whenever I want to do the final detangling tool for the one time that month okay that's really crucial because this is a low manipulation technique so if you're understanding, this is all about low manipulation and combing the hair as little as humanly possible, okay? And that's manually how you're going to thicken your hair. Obviously, you're going to thicken your hair by eating foods like salmon, spinach, okay? Obviously, diet has a huge part in it and moisture, you know, just taking in enough fluids. Okay, but this is all about how to thicken your hair with just the way you detangle your hair, okay? Maybe I'll make a little... Uh, video from a nutritional standpoint how you can thicken up your hair from your diet okay but this is just a manual manipulation technique that legitimately works legit legit and it really this is very effective okay so I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching I'll talk to you in the next video later